everyone, I'm Mr. Wong from Genius Plus Academy. Today, I'll be going through the PSLE 2022 question 16 involving the fence. Now, let's take a look at the question. A plot of land with an area of 876 meters is divided into three equal three parts of equal width. All right, so based on the information in the first part, we know that the total area of the plot of land is 876, so we shall highlight that. It is divided into three parts. Each part has equal width. So equal width would mean that the breadth of each rectangular piece would be the same. So we shall go ahead and annotate that to be equal. Okay? Next, the question then tells us that the three parts were fenced up using 177 meters of fencing in total. Now, let's take a highlighter and outline what exactly makes up the fencing. We should realize that when we highlight the fencing, there are parts that border each piece of land. Those parts that border each other will only be separated by a singular fence. You do not build a double fence. So that is the trick to the question. Okay, so there is only a single row of fence here and a single row of fence between these other two plots. Okay, then we need to include the breadth So two breaths of 36, and lastly, a bottom, 27. Now, from here, you should be able to realize that we would be able to find the length of two times of AB using the fencing. How do we go about doing that? Two times of AB will be equal to your total perimeter of the fence, and then you will subtract times of 36 because that is your left and right and then you minus away 2 times of the 27 meters and that will give you 51 meters so to make it clearer if I were to label in the diagram when I remove this and this part and this part and this part so that is where I get 2 times of AB okay and therefore, to find AB, 51 meters divided by 2. And that will give us 25.5 meters for part A of the question. Now, you should realize from part A of the question that we didn't actually use the area that was given to us. So naturally, part B of the question will involve using the area. So always pay attention to information that has been given but has not been used. Because that would likely mean that for subsequent parts, we need to use it. For part B of the question, let me use a different colored highlighter. So I use red for part A, so let me highlight the perimeter of the plot of land in blue this time. And you should be able to realize something. When we highlight the perimeter, remember that it refers only to the exterior, so we do not include the interior parts of the plot of land. Okay? If you were to look at the blue highlight and the red highlight, you will notice that the difference between your red and your blue is actually just this part over here and this part over here. In other words, if I were to take the perimeter or the total length of the fence minus away the two red color parts that are not highlighted, I will be able to find the perimeter of the plot of land. So that's what we are going to find next. We are going to find what these two red lengths are equivalent to. To do that, we will need to make use of the area. Remember that area is length times breadth. And we have the breadth of each individual piece of land as 12 meters because 36 divided by 3 to give me 12. Okay, so once we have the breadth, we have the lengths of the other two plots of land, we can go on to find the area of the other two plots of land. So for easier annotation, let's call the various plots of land X, Y, and Z. Alright, so area of plot X will be equal to 25.5 meters, which we have found in part A. So if you are unsure, please do remember to label it into the diagram so that you can always clarify better. Multiplied by 12, that gives me an area of 306 meters square. Okay, and I can find the area of plot Z, which will be 27 meters as given, multiplied by 12 meters to give me 324 meters squared. 
Okay? This allow us to find the area of plot Y. So plot Y will be equal to 876 meters square, which is the total given to us in the question. We subtract away X and we subtract away Z. That gives us an area of 246 meters square. Okay? Once we have the area of Y, we can use the area divided by the breadth to find the length of Y. And that's what we are going to do next. So 246 meters square divided by the breadth, which is 12 meters, will give me the length 20.5 meters. Okay, so go ahead and label it into your diagram. From the diagram, you should realize that once I have the length of Y, to find the perimeter of the plot of land is simply your total fencing, 177 meters, subtract away 20.5 meters times 2. And that will give you a total perimeter of 136 meters. So that will be our final answer. So as you can see from the question, what is one very important skill that you need to be able to take away? Always pay attention to the differences in the lengths and differences in the area to help us to find the question. That's number one. And number two, make good use of your highlighter. Make sure you highlight the outlines and once you have finished highlighting, you should be able to observe some things that you may not have been able to observe previously from the question. Alright? If you have any comments, do leave your comments in the space below. Alright, I hope to see you soon again. Thank you.